know you can eat real meat without killing any animals? This is not what you think it is. It is a burger. It comes from a cow and it tastes and looks like your average burger should, but here's the catch. This is clean or cultured meat. It's grown in a lab using animal cells. This is future meat technologies. We're making meat out of animal cells that are grown in fermentation tanks, exactly like yogurt. Everything that we see cooking here today is grown in a lab. We're talking the chicken schnitzel burgers, even the lamb kebabs. It just tastes like meat. <laughs> just like a burger. Meat is a composition of both muscle and fat. Muscle is what gives you the bite and the protein content. Fat gives you the aroma and the smell of meat. We can take cells from an animal and grow it in a bioreactor like you see behind me, both muscle and fat, and then combine them together to make, well, any type of meat you like. Now, this may sound like Franken food or some crazy and creepy science experiment, but more and more people are demanding alternatives to regular meat because of concerns about health, animal welfare, and the environment. The demand is far outstripping our production capability. That means that my kids, they will not be able to eat the schnitzel, the kebabs, the hamburgers that I grew up on, unless we fundamentally change the way we produce meat. Meat production is depleting our environment. Today we already use around 70% of the world's arable land and more than 20% of the world's fresh water to grow the meat that we eat. And it takes months to raise chickens and cattle for protein. Here, it's a two-week process. And the same bioreactor, the same vessel that makes chicken can make lamb and beef. We can make 150 kilograms of meat with a single run of this vessel. You can essentially make a cow every week. And now, Singapore has become the first nation in the world to authorize the sale of lab-grown meat. That means that soon, locals will be able to buy and eat it. Our company, Eat Just, uh, has recently received the first ever approval to sell meat that doesn't require killing an animal. The very first product uh, that was approved for Eat Just was cultured chicken. Uh, the initial application was a chicken nugget. Today, someone can walk in 1880, the restaurant in Singapore that we launched with, and there are three chicken dishes that are offered. And for all three, um, it's the equivalent of about 23 US dollars. This shows consumers that this kind of meat, a meat that doesn't require killing an animal, is meat. It's not some other version of it. And we think this will eventually be the meat that most people are eating around the world. The market for meat alternatives could be worth $140 billion within the next decade. That's about 10% of the global meat industry. And it's estimated that cultured meat will produce 96% less greenhouse gas, consume up to 96% less water, and virtually eliminate land requirements needed to raise livestock. My biggest issue is the health implications of actually eating meat that is coming from an animal. What we can do here, no animal can. We can make sure that there is no bacteria, no virus infection, no fungus. But there are still challenges to developing lab-grown meat and dairy. First of all, today the products are more expensive. Plus, some scientists have suggested that making clean meat could actually be worse for climate change under certain circumstances. And then there are people who may not feel so thrilled about eating such unusually made meat. Still, it's predicted that lab-grown meat could account for as much as 40% of all meat consumption by 2040. That's only 20 years away. So the question is, if it's better for the world and our animals, would you be willing to take on the food of the future?